Hello guys, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, the last time I played Kerbal Space Program, I sounded like this. Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Now, I've been re- Yeah, so, um, so back then, my mic quality was bad and everything, but recently, I've had this video go to over a thousand views, uh, on my KSP episode- Theme up, uh, and that was my last ever episode of KSP that I've done. Um, so, uh, and a few people have asked for me to keep the series going or like try and populate the solar system or something like that. So, um, I'm gonna do that one inhabitable moon slash planet at a time. Um, so, what I've named this series of the Kerbal Space Program is something to do with lathe. You obviously have to look at the title to see that, because I haven't thought of a name for it yet. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, so I've already got, like, a save file going. I've, al I've already done some missions here. I'll just... I, I won't really show you those. They're just, um, me messing around, to be honest. Um, but I will show you... Uh, as you can see, uh, this the 2.1 update, I, th I think. <laughs> uh, and... Stuff has changed, that's a bit glitchy, but, um, a lot has changed, especially in this menu. Uh, so you can, like, hire Kerbals and stuff. It's pretty dang awesome. And there's a shitload of new parts. Uh, Lathe Scout. Right, that is what we're going to be doing today, and also something else, which I will show you in a sec. Uh, and this is just another mission that I will bring home off-camera, because I was just putting rovers down onto Eve and using that as like a space station to put them down onto the planet. Um, yeah. Uh, so this thing here, I, wish I shall show you. I call it the Lathe Scout because we are going to lathe this series and we are going to try and populate the surface of lathe. And as you can see on your screens now, there is a, um, uh, that is like the surface temperature and like, uh, like, if it's got oxygen and stuff on lathe, according to the according to the KSP wiki, and it does, so that means it, it's kind of inhabitable. So we're gonna have a try at setting up at like a base kind of thing. Uh, but, uh, as you can see here, I have made this rover scout. Uh, actually, I will go down to the surface in a second demonstrate. But basically, uh, this this stage here will get us into Julian orbit around Joule and this stage here will get us into orbit around Lathe and we will uh, uh, we will get a nice stable orbit around Lathe and then find a nice place to go down and go down on it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go onto the launch pad with this and show you kinda what it can do. Okay guys so this is just a little thing I've made here uh, so this is going to be the lander that is going through um, e uh, Lathe's atmosphere, so we found a nice place to land. Uh, this stage will separate, that is like not the actual stage, so, but, um, but if you remember up in orbit there was the thing with nuclear rockets coming up there. So that stage separates, and then let's just uh, physical time warp down, and then when we have found a nice place to land, I am going to open up the parachutes, slow us down nicely, and bring us down to around 3 meters per second. I think once we reach the floor it will be about 3.2 because it will slow down slowly. Um, but And that is just enough not to damage these wheels because these wheels are, are very small but very durable so you can like land on them hard and stuff. And uh, if you look at this lander, it is I am very, very proud of it. Okay, and here we go, 3.3 meters per second, boof. And then this stage here will come up. Off it goes. The lights will come on, which you can't really see because it's daytime. Uh, and the lights are underneath, the, uh, so if it flips it. The, uh, but the thing about this, I hope it breaks. Okay, the thing about this, let's make sure that it doesn't come down on top of us there, let's kind of get out of the way of it, um, is that it can reach a high speed, I think it's like 20 meters per second, which is alright, it's not terribly fast, 
But this thing, you can turn it however quick you want. Uh, and I'm using WSD, so this is actually rolling it. Um, as it's turning it. Oh! That has, I promise you, that has never, uh, never happened before. But, um, as you can see there, it, it, as long as you take it easy, it can, it can turn and not fall over easily. That wasn't a very good demonstration there, because it kind of did fall over and die. Um, but yeah, but it's quite wide, so it's like, absorbs, I mean, not absorbs, um, so it doesn't flip over as easily. I move some, I move my hands around in the air. <laughs> Like you're sitting in front of me or something. Um, but anyway, guys. Uh, but anyway, guys. Back to the vehicle assembly building, and I will show you the lathe station, which is something we're also going to be launching today. Um, this thing here is going to be the station in lathe orbit. If you have any suggestions for any of these things or anything I should do, um. Then obviously let me know. Or if you want to send in any ships you want to put onto the Lathian, uh, Lathian surface, if you're into KSP at all, then uh, just private message me on YouTube and uh, we will figure out a way to get the file to me. And I shall put it into the game. Uh, so yeah, so it's got a nice crew cabin and stuff like Orbit, and it's got a nice supply of food and docking ports, etc., etc. Uh, now I'm gonna launch this, get this into orbit, and uh, then we will launch this and the scout at the same time. So I will be back with you guys in a second. Hello guys, and I have just got this thing into orbit. Just gonna quick save just there. Um, as you can see, I just had some lights, and uh, I'm gonna extend the solar panels. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we ran out of power. Uh, I do have like an extra power thingy in bob in there. Uh, but that's just, yeah, because because that's a remote controlled thing, and these guys can, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna disable the flow somehow. Disable crossfeed, okay? Because that was feeding into that, and I do not like that. So let's just put that back in there. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, well, guys, for the rest of this episode slash next episode, I am going to be taking these uh, these two guys on their own all the way out to Lathe. That's the Julian system and Lathe is the moon just here. This beautiful little moon. It's got oxygen and atmosphere <laughs> and all that jazz. So uh, I'm, th I'm thinking of like finding our own little island like something small like that. Or, or do you think it's something big like that? Uh, so I'm going to take these into into um, at least Julian orbit for the end of this episode. Uh, uh, yeah. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. Well, I am back, and this is the lathe station. On uh, it, it had a little bit of a. We're going to have a little bit of trouble with the moon passing, but it won't impact too much because of the speed that we're travelling. Um, we set off at around 4 kilometers per second, I think, I think, I can't really remember. Um, but also we've got the lathe scout coming in behind us. Uh, the station is probably going to arrive first. Uh, I can tell you that, but I'm just going to speed past here. Hang on, let's just... Whoa! Okay, <laughs> whoa there. Okay, so uh, the station is going to hit Jewel like so. Uh, around here, I'm gonna bring it down, bring it down nice and sharp, uh, and what? And then I'm going to do something called an aero capture, where you go underneath the atmosphere of Jewel. Oh, well, more like in the atmosphere of Jewel, uh, and it will sl and it slows your speed down. To the speed that Jewel is travelling and like yada yada yada. Uh, so yeah, there's Kerbin off in the distance. Bye bye. And obviously we have our scout very close behind us. Where is it? Just here. That's going to take a slightly longer route round so that the station arrives first. Because I want to get all the stations set up before the scout arrives. Uh, if the scout 
needs anything done to it, like maintenance or anything like that. <laughs> um, so here we have Bill, Bob, Jebediah, I'm chilling out. Actually, we might get Jeb Jebediah into the living capsule because uh, he probably will want to be with the other guys. Well, there we go. It's Jebediah. <sighs> And as you can see, the food is nicely stored up there, ready for snacks. And it's a very, very long journey of almost a year. Jeez. Right. Uh, so I'm going to probably not commentary the rest of this, and probably just put some music on and do it very, very quickly. <laughs> um. And then, but but anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Bye bye. If anybody wants to find me I'll be in the last place you would look In a place where people used to be A land that's called reality You'll find me there I won't be catching up on Reddit I won't be watching any news let the planet spin without me Cause everything has been without me sometime And everyone will be alright If I'm not live by satellite It's a beautiful day, I'm running away Don't bother to Facebook message or call me Cause I'm living life in airplane mode And everything is okay just wanna play, unplug for the day and live in the moment. Cause I'm living life in airplane mode, yeah. I'm always drowning in the static. I'd rather swim in crystal seas. My battery's been running low. I need to take it nice and slow for just a while. You won't be hearing about my weather And you won't see my breakfast pics For videos of kitty cats all gussied up in pretty hats You'll have to wait I hope it's not a tragedy I hope you don't get mad at me It's a beautiful day Bother to Facebook Messenger, call me. Cause I'm living life in airplane mode and everything is okay. I just wanna play, unplug for the day and live in the moment. Cause I'm living life in airplane mode, yeah. Everything is now, everyone is everywhere. But no one seems to get up from their chairs. I'll come and say, have a drink or two We'll open up the window for some air And hear the voices down the street Of children playing on the beach It's a beautiful day Don't take it away I just want to play Beautiful day, I'm running away. Don't bother to Facebook message or call me. Cause I'm living life in airplane mode and everything is okay. I just wanna play, unplug for the day.